Hi! It's not a pumpkin this time. Um, as you can see, um, back there, he, he did a dance party. Um, I'm hosting today. Because I want to, actually, be, be perfectly honest, I kind of want to. Mm. There, there's reasons. There, there's some serious reasons. Serious reasons that, um, I'm not going to go into right now. Okay, I'm going to go into it all. Um, in about a week, Vstream will be shutting down. And that's where I've been doing most of my, um, YouTubing stuff. Since September. Mainly except for, like, you know, hosting movies, which I've kept doing on Twitch. Um, and... I kind of want to try to do something every day. You know, at least do something every day on Vstream. So... I'm hosting a movie. And I had to be very careful because, um... Restream's not a big company. And it's not like it's not like Twitch that has Amazon money or YouTube which has Google money. It it doesn't have that kind of stuff. So I wanna be very careful with the movies I showed. A movie I showed here, because I'm gonna be showing this one and I'm gonna show another one next week. And so I chose a really bad movie. One of the worst movies ever made. It's horrible. It's a stinker. Plot-wise, it's a stinker. Technically, it's somewhat competent. But the script is a stinker. The acting is stinky. Everything about this movie smells. So, um, so you know what the movie's about. Um, or at least a little bit of history of the movie. It was made in 1936. Um, and it was produced by George Herleman. Her the man, her the man, and um, done by made by a church group. And it's a morality tale to be shown to parents. Uh, it was then picked up by um, Dwayne Esper, who re-released it in 1938 with the titles, depending on the market it was being released in. Tell your children, doped youth, the burning question, and the one that it's known by. Reefer Madness. Yes, I'm showing Reefer Madness. This is definitely a public domain movie, because I don't think anybody wants to claim it. It's not the colorized version, by the way. Nor is it the movie musical, which is far, far funnier than this one ever could be. I know, I just watched that last night. I loved it. So... Let's just, uh, get to Reefer Madness here on Shocking Theater. Formerly Tell Your Children, a G&H production. Copyrighted, uh, no it isn't. Well, at least not anymore. It's long since fallen into the PD. Lawrence really likes, uh, drinking his mead. But the screenplay made me want to hurl. God, I hope Luce doesn't have much gas. Made by Sam Diego, what? Or associate producer with Sam Diego. That's a weird name for a producer. All these people went to church together, probably. All these people. I bet they were all in the congregation. Pat wants some royal pats. What to witness may startle you. It would not have been possible otherwise to sufficiently emphasize the frightful toll of the new drug menace which is destroying the youth of America in alarmingly increasing numbers. The devil's lettuce is that drug, a violent narcotic, an unspeakable scourge, the real public enemy number one. Never mind Al Capone. The first effect is sudden, violent, uncontrollable laughter. Then comes dangerous hallucinations. Space expands and time slows down. Almost to a standstill. Fixed ideas come next, conjuring up monstrous extravagances, followed by emotional disturbances. A total inability to what was I talking about again? 
Dolos of all power uses physical emotions. Leading finally to acts of shocking violence. And then offered an offered an incurable insanity. <laughs> the picturing the soul destroying the Titans and attempting to made to equivocate. The scenes and incidents, while fictionalized for purposes of this story, are based on to, upon actual research into the results of marijuana addiction. If their stark reality will make you think, and will make you aware that something must be done to wipe out this ghastly menace, then this picture will not have failed in its purpose. Because the dreaded Mary Jane may be reaching forth next for your son, or daughter, or yours, or mine! I have son? Or daughter? Stop the presses! Please, stop them! I think my hand's caught in it. Oh crap, my hand hurts. <gasps> ah! I'm gonna stop the presses. My hand's not, not, not being... My hand's gonna be in the next edition of the newspaper, just so you know. Come! Hirl! Lernal! I must not be stopped. I will never be stopped. You cannot stop me. For I am the devil's lettuce. So are you going to force your kids to go into school? Okay, um... No, I'm, 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 I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, why, why are you wearing Coke bottles on your eyes, sir? Is your vision that bad? You know, you could probably get some LASIK. That, that could probably fix it. Ah, he's staring right at me! Okay, I think it's safe. He was, like, staring right into my soul. Ah! Let me stop with the close-ups of the creepy guy. Please. Uh. So Washington, the whole of Washington's Department of Narcotics? Okay. I am totally and utterly smitten with you, and I wish you would be my boyfriend. Check yes if you want to be my boyfriend. Check no if you want to throw me into the sun. Signed, Herbert Hoover. What? That is the weirdest letter I have ever read. Yep. Recently, in the city of Brooklyn, New York, even in Alaska, the field of marijuana was found behind a tenement court. The weed was here being cultivated, regularly stripped and dried and sold in schools and at government army posts in and around New York. Ah, that must have. Uh, and berries are ground up. Must have been some fun schools to go to. That are still being manufactured to this day. Because people like their tobacco. The sale of marijuana is even more difficult to detect and halt than the traffic in drugs such as opium, morphine, and heroin. Yeah. They're all equally dangerous, aren't they? I bet this movie's going to say that. They're all equally as dangerous. Mainly Bibles. Remember what watches were? I don't. Recently, a huge supply of heroin was taken. It was concealed in an apparently... I thought this movie was about marijuana. barrels of olive oil. The deadly drug was burned in the incinerator of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. And I bet everybody downwind of that was really happy. Even though these soul-destroying drugs... 
problem is the menace of marijuana. No doubt many of you do not believe that these things do happen. No. They cannot happen to you. No. You may also believe that the facts have been exaggerated. No. Yes. Something that happened right here in our own city. You probably read about it in the paper. However, I'll give you the real facts behind the case. Because I'm the school principal, and I obviously know the real facts of the case. The heiress to the Coleman Lantern Line. You know, it's it's the only play. Take the hat off while indoors, okay, dude? It's not taking your hat off. Come on, May, get up. What time is it? Time to get up and give this place a going over. Looks like the Marines had landed. Oh, that bunch last night was high enough to take over the Marines and the Navy. You better get on the job. Some of the kids may be up this afternoon. Oh, Jack, we can get along without dragging those young kids up here. Oh, why don't you button up your lip? You're always squawking about something. You got more static than the radio. So, I thought she was a woman, not a radio. Uh, she, you know what? She must be 24 hour news. The exciting uh, putting on the pantyhose um, scene. Let me drink. Well, he's probably looking for his drink right now. Ah, he's going to make himself a nice cup of coffee. For a while there, we were getting uh, vacuum sealed breaks of coffee. I don't think we have those anymore. I haven't seen them in stores in a while. But that's, that's probably just a vacuum sealed brick of coffee. This is, this is riveting. Now let's go back to putting on the pantyhose. It's, it's more riveting. Well, it's a, it's a joint where you get joints. A couple of your customers, May. Yeah? They're old enough to know what they're doing. Not like those young kids you bring up here. All right, all right. Yeah, somebody's being responsible. I've got to make some deliveries, and I'll probably drop by Joe's place and bring back a couple of the kids. Oh, I wish you'd lay off those kids. Oh, why don't you get over that mother complex? Um, she's a mother. Now you're gonna take his coffee and run. You no, know, you know, you know. Maybe you should add some water to that coffee, make it drinkable. Again, he might like you know drinking pay you know drinking powder. If I start seeing school, little schools, no, these are people. Why? Why aren't the schools crossing? I want. I want to see the schools. I want to see a mother school and little baby schools just crossing the road right now, on their little school webbed feet. Oh, by the way, Ralph, I'm sort of getting a little party Saturday afternoon over at my grandmother's. You know the place of the swimming pool? Like to come? Thanks, Daddy. Maybe I will. I sure like to have you. Okay, I'll probably drop over. So long, Ralph. See you later. Hey, Ralph. Hi, kid. Hi, Jack, and you? Oh, great. Where are you heading? Oh. Hey, how do you like that? Couple of squares over there. Look at them with their tennis rackets. You can't, probably can't even smoke a tennis oh, racket. Very nice. I don't know why you want to make such a fuss over that Ralph Wally. Oh, he's a swell swimmer. He made the freshman team that year he went to college. Yeah, and that left him out. My dad knows his family. None of them are any good. Father and mother just got a divorce from Paris. Yeah? Oh my no, goodness! How scandalous! Ralph must be torn up! Well, I only kind of say hello to him. I don't go around with him. Well, you better not. He's a little too old for us. That's what my dad said. Hmm. Hello, Mary. How are you, Bill? How are you, Ralph? Oh, hello, Ralph. You know my brother Jimmy, don't you? How are you? Whoa. 
I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Jack Perry. Perry, Bill. Glad to know you. How do you do? Glad to know you. We're going over to Joe's place. Why don't you come along? We have a date to play a set of doubles. Oh, you can play any time. Come on, we'll have some laughs. Oh, we can today, Ralph. Some other time. Yes, uh, she senses something wrong with her. Uh, Never mind. She's letting her brother go alone with two grown men to a strange place. This is not going to end well. Nope. Not at all. Nope. nope. I would have done an insert here, but I was too lazy. An old insert of me dancing. Faster! Faster! That joke will come... Uh, that joke will come back and bite us in the butt, won't it? You call that dancing? You know, I think that's the real scourge of youth today. Calling that dancing? My goodness, not, not not even one bit of rhythm in those two. Now you can teach uh, those two how to dance. Now I'm just stealing plot lines from the from, from the musical. I think. See, at least some of them seem to have a little bit of rhythm. That kid has no rhythm on the piano either. Yeah, if I heard that too, I'd be smoking. Oh, Jimmy, you're wonderful. You're just finding that out. Yeah, he's just finding that out too. Why can't we go now? Mm, sure. Hey, kids, we're having a little party up at my girlfriend's apartment. Wouldn't you like to come? Oh, I'd love to. You want to come, don't you, Jenny? Oh, sure. Any place with you. Well, come along. We can all go in my car. Well, you all fit. I mean, I don't know if you can fit five people in a Mini Cooper. See you later, Joe. Stop. Or, you know, are you all going to try to fit uh, in the back of a Volkswagen Beetle? Because I've heard that's very uncomfortable. Now look at this. you got dog hair all over the books. The answer is no. <laughs> you know, after that session we had yesterday, I went home and told Mother that the trouble with her pot roast gravy was she hadn't added three heaping teaspoonfuls of olive oil. <laughs> what did she say? She didn't say anything. She just threw me out of the kitchen. I would too. Don't insult your mother's cooking. She's cooking for you because you're a growing square. My goodness, I have not seen a couple of these square, uh, squares like this since I was in high school. Speaking of squares, hi! I was one! Don't you like it? Uh-huh. You know, when I study this, I, I kind of think of you as... I just sort of feel as though you're there beside me. Uh-huh. So, you're saying, uh, you, 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 you want her to fake your own, her own death? So, so, um, she can escape to marry you, but then you think she's dead, so you kill yourself, and then, 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 then she does that afterwards? That's, that's not, that, no, don't do that. That's, no, don't do that. Romeo and Juliet is not a good, good romance to base yours off of. Well, uh, I'll see you tonight, Mary. 
He was peeping. And now he's got a soggy bottom. Bill's a square. Hey, Dad, you got anything for me? Well, I don't bother your father every night. Uh, have you? There you are. What made you so late, Bill? I was getting worried. Don't give you some diabetes, there, kid. He does have a girlfriend. Yes, he does. But you're a snitch. Yeah, he's probably going to go snitch, snitch, snitches get stitches, man. Stop, stop, stop picking on me, man. Snitches get stitches. I'm going to tear your arm off, kid. Because he don't, you don't like you're saying something about your your boyfriend or your well, brother. It's my model airplane. It will work. Guys, still, you can fix it. You can fix anything. Except our parents' broken marriage. You can't fix that. Nobody can fix that. The only reason they're still together is because of kids. They can't stand each other. I know. I've met them. Always fighting. Always. Because I'm a lousy drunk. I get drunk off a of Coca-Cola. It's bad. It's really bad. I mean, my God. Last time I I had a sip of Coca-Cola, whoo, I was flying. I was I was stumbling all over the place. I, I crashed my car into a forest full of nuns. And I don't even know what that means. I just started stringing words together and hoped it would be coherent. But I don't think it was. That's what happens when I drink Coca-Cola. Speaking of which, I need some Coca-Cola. I'm an addict. I have a problem. I know. He's happy that Bill's not going to go there. That's the kind of dancing you do when you're stoned. Jeez, he is definitely a square. They're having fun, and he's like, I'm just going to sit here in the corner. Yeah, I saw him drive in. Even though he borrowed it from his sister, so might not be a good idea. Don't 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 drive and smoke, kid. Kids. Hey Jimmy. Yeah? I've got to run over to see 
scoot around for a minute. You've got a car, haven't you? Why, yeah, my sister. Mind giving me a lift? Why, sure, come on. Um, I don't think he can. He doesn't look that strong. I mean, honestly. He seems pretty scrawny. Oh my god, how scandalous they're losing their virginity! They're Marlboros. They're for big manly men. Like her. He's not manly. He he he's he he's you know, he screams when he sees it he sees a spider. We have to kill it for him. Very embarrassing. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> well, at least somebody is finding this funny. Well, this is a serious situation. I mean, kids? In suits? And? On a school night? That's the real tragedy of this picture. Let's uh, take a break to loosen our ties before returning to the movie. Okay, but, you know, be careful. This is, uh, regular tobacco. Not that wacky tobacco. That stuff will give you lung cancer. Real stuff, not the, not the wacky stuff. Hello, Jack. Hi, boss. Gotta keep meticulous records with this job. He looks like a linebacker. All right, go ahead. Jack's okay. What's the beat? Everybody's okay. I'm not okay. I am not okay with this. You guys are you guys guys are gangsters. Look at those hats. You're gangsters. You're mobsters. You can rub something out. Hopefully not in front of kids because Well, that's just gross. What are you saying, good go? I only wish you had a couple of kids so I could. Yeah! Alright, Jack, pick up. Take so good, what? I'll be ready by now. Okay, well. This was a pointless scene. Could have done a clock wipe right there and, um. Signify time passing and, you know, just, uh... Let's go, Jack. I'm red hot. Better be careful how you drive it. The first thing you know, you'll be ice cold. Now we just need the, 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 the Black Beauty to chase him. Go around, you'll kill somebody. 
Um, should I hide? I might have to hide. Okay. I'm safe. That's good. Didn't hit me! Oh, that poor guy, though. Hope it's okay. Well, it's Bill. He's been smoking that wacky tobacco and he hasn't had time for me and hasn't given me any. You know, you know I need that stuff. It's wacky. Don't worry about it, dear. Why don't you speak frankly to Bill? Don't you want to speak Billy to Bill, not frankly to Bill? Because, you know, those, those two names are, are, aren't the same. I I I didn't I didn't even hit the man. I, I swear I did not hit the man. And I, I was not smoking nothing. Meanwhile at the Hall of Justice. There is no doubt that there is an organized gang distributing the narcotic to students, not only in my school, but all over the city. You government men have got to find some way to put an end to it. Of course, I agree with well, you. Well, we'll just pass laws then. But do you realize that marijuana is not like other forms of dope? You see, it grows wild in almost every state in the Union. Yes, we Therefore, heard that at the beginning of the movie. Thanks for repeating the information that we did not need to hear. Kinky. Uh, what do you say? Is he trying to arrive? Okay, if he starts taking his clothes off, I'm out of here. Because I don't think that could arouse me. No, I don't think that could arouse me at all. This one's a picture of my son. He, he, he's been growing weed for like the last 16 years. Which is kind of funny because he's only 12. Here is a most tragic case. Yes, I remember. Just a young boy. Under the influence of the drug, he killed his entire family with an axe. Then there is the most vicious... There's the secret origin of, um... Well, pretty much every serial killer in the slasher 80s. Plus, uh, they're, they're, they're getting me properly aroused. Are you properly aroused, Bill? No, no, it's not that, 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 that we're giving you harder work. It's that you're just failing as a student. You're failing. You're failing. You're getting nothing but... A minuses. Want to tell a story? Well, once upon a time, there was this little bear... This little bear was named Teddy, and Teddy had a violent streak. You see, he once went to war, and he saw some horrible things. He did some horrible, 
horrible things. And when he came back, he 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 was he couldn't deal with his trauma because nobody would support him. Nobody would you know help get help get him the help that he needed. And one day, one day, it's it's tragic. It's it's, it's just, just so tragic. One day, poor Teddy. Poor Teddy. He he watched he watched this movie. He watched this movie. And. and then he watched Meadow stands of fate, and then he binged all the Archold Junior movies, and then 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 he found the help he needed and found a therapist, and everything was uh, better. He's getting regular treatment now, which is good for Teddy. No, she can't see. She's blind. It's all the booze she drinks. Oh, um, um, I don't know if anybody should be watching this right now. Um, this might not be a good thing for, for, for people to watch. Um, uh, I think this is becoming a stag film. Oh, uh, um, I think Bill's probably getting properly aroused now. Yep, uh, he is probably very much properly aroused right now. Um, that was the day, oh, 29th of last month. Um, that would have been, I don't know. I don't know what the 29th of last month was. I don't know where I was. I don't know where I was. Oh, God, oh, God, they're coming after me. Oh, God, what did I do? I don't remember what I did. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I gotta hide. 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 Gotta hide, gotta hide. Uh, 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 uh. Come start to me, come start to me. Ah! Has Jimmy Lane been here today? He oh, the cops fell after me. He went over to May's place. You know where that is. Uh, yes. Um, May's place. Uh, that is at, um, 69, 69, 420th Street. I could cut that scene a little earlier, I would think it would. I think it would probably have helped a little bit if just cut that scene. Come right in. Is Jimmy here? Oh, why do you keep around somewhere? I, I think he went out to take Agnes home. But he'll be right back. Come right in. Is Jimmy here? Oh, why do you keep around somewhere? I, I think he went out to take Agnes home. But he'll be right back. Come in and sit down, Mary. And let me take your coat. Who's the new kid just came in? Oh, 
Wallace left Yell that Ralph's gone overboard for him. Funny, we've never been able to get her up here before. Yeah, he likes them, um, um, well, he's one of those college kids, uh, he may get older, but high school girls stay the same age, <laughs> he's one of those creepy guys. Yep, uh, full of nutrients. This kid's been smoking since the day she was born. Yeah, at least she's still dressed. told her in a very amusing anecdote. It was about the time that um, um, he went to school one time and um, something funny happened. But very amusing. You, you, you had to be there. No, she's just an alky. That's an alcoholic. Uh, I don't think we need to be watching this either. Um, 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 this is getting very, um, very, 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 um, nope, um, nope, um, just, um, gonna take up as much of the screen as I can right now, I think. Yeah, that, that might be a good idea. Nope, nope, don't need to see this. Nope, nope. Nope. No. No, no, no. Nope. 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 I think it's safe. Ah, crap. Crap's going down. <gasps> My God. Paint. Paint landed on her back. Somebody call the cops. Dun, dun, dun! Hey, get me some water. Now listen, you two. Why don't you get out of here? Get out of here and forget you're ever in here today. I'll handle this. Now get going. Oh, it won't be hard for them to forget anything. He's awake, he's awake. Hi. 
Well, um, I, I told you this wouldn't end well. Now she'll never get your class ring. After I scram, you call the cops. And this is your story. Remember it. These two kids came up here for a couple of beers. You're out in the kitchen, you heard, heard the shots. When you got in here, that's what you found. Just stick to that story. And if you don't, Mary. well then I'm going to tell a big boss about you. Uh, he'll give you a very, very stern lecture and it Mary. won't be pleasant. You have friends? Your Honor, I'd like to recall Dr. Alfred Carroll to the stand. Call Dr. Alfred Carroll to the stand. Why? What's he got to do with it? Oh my God! Did he do the murder? Did he do the murder? I think he did the murder. I think he did. Must have, he must have done the murder. Dr. Carroll, I knew there was something suspicious about him. He was thinking communist thoughts. The recent interscholastic tennis matches. And while Bill Harper had been considered an exceedingly good player, I saw him miss the ball by as much as three or four feet. This, I understand, could be attributed to the use of marijuana. Dun, dun, dun! Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, we use uh, marijuana to power our time space machines. Well, yes, his I parents' marriage is broken, and he can't so. fix it. it was during a Though everybody th says he could fix anything. There was a serious discussion of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. But he hadn't even finished the book. Well, it is funny, especially in its original Klingon. Well, uh, he, characters, well, he could do a really good... Good, Charlie Chaplin, especially when he was silent. We are proud to graduate from our school. Yeah, straight laced, stuck up, and prone to break into musical numbers at the drop of a hat. Wait a sec. This isn't high school musical, the musical, the series, the musical, the high school. What am I watching again? Maybe I should take a break while I 
I'm trying to figure this out. Monsters do have their place in the zoo, in your nightmares, in the deep, in your favorite horror movies. But not in your living room, on your TV. Don't let pay TV be the monster in your living room. Pay TV and cable TV companies are seeking the right to charge you for the very programs you now get free. If you want to stop pay TV and save free television, sign the petition in the lobby of this theater. Let your lawmakers know how you feel in the fight against pay TV and cable TV. Yeah, that really was a fight back in the old days. It, it didn't work, obviously, as you can tell. Because you're horny on Maine? Jack, I want to get out of this place. You're going to stay here as long as we have to keep those two out there undercover. Well, Maybe they need to put some blankets on them. That way they are undercovers. Get the better idea. But they're getting on my nerves. It can't last much longer. They're getting on everybody's nerves. Not worried about her. we got to keep him gagged. Oh, he's about ready to Kinky. What do you mean by that? See if he's got any better ideas? Well, I got an idea. Get out of the movie while you can. I uh, guess you better go uh, stuff his ears with cotton balls. Wait. Wait. Does this movie take place in the same universe as the Dick Tracy serials? Huh. Neat. My mind went blank a long time ago. That's why I'm watching this movie. He does not look like he wants to be here. Um, you could rewind the movie and, you know, and f figure this out for yourselves. If such deeds are permitted to go unpunished, this community would cease to be a decent and safe place for us or our children to live. 
I do not believe I have to plead or even demand that you bring in a verdict to punish the defendant for the crime that he has committed against society. You yes, the crime of being in this movie. The existence of this movie is a crime against society. We should, yeah, we should not be watching this movie. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't think we should watch the movie. And this court will be adjourned until the jury's verdict is reached. And now we got to sit through 12 angry men. Why are all these pictures of dicks? Who kept draw? Who who told all you guys to draw dicks? Except you. You drew a really good picture of a man named Richard. And his genitalia. I think that was trying to be symbolism, but it's not quite working. Oh, that's a that's a lovely signature you have, young woman. Hi, Hershey. Hershey's lurking. You know, this is the secret origin story of Beetlejuice. Just don't say that name two more times, please. Got that same haunted look as Beetlejuice. Said that name twice tonight. Crap. Have you reached a verdict? We have. And we all want to go out for cheeseburgers. Well, that's it. He's getting the, um, probably the chair. Hopefully it's a really comfy one. Like a nice, easy, like nice lazy boy recliner. And put his feet up and you know, lean back. Ugh, get some rest. Because he's had a rough day. That scene could have been cut a little earlier, I think. Aunt May? What do you want, Peter? I think he wants to see Jack. Jack. You 
better fry them. I can't do anything with them. I think he needs to see Jack. I've got to see Jack. You want to see Jack? What happened to that kid hanged? He'll be here. Don't worry. He'll be here in a little while. I've got to see him. You've got to see him. I think he wants to see Jack. I, 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 something's telling me he wants to see Jack. Come on, darling. Everything will be over soon. And we can go see Jack together. What, you had one in your pocket all along? And why'd you ask for more? I'm getting dizzy. Can you try to stop playing faster? Oh, I think that made me a little woozy. Oh, boy. Can you play slower now, please? Play slower? Play slower, please. Please. Please, please play slower. Jack! You're here. I know what you want. Wait, I thought you wanted to see Jack. You want to kill me. You're crazy. Take it easy, kid. I just want to talk to you. Where do you get the stick? Or is that just a big joint? I'm gonna bet the big joint. How'd she know? Well, at least that's what. Uh, oh, I think he's gonna go look for the stash. He, he wants a little bit of that wacky tobacco for himself. Let's smoke a little bit of that devil's lettuce. Now, why does this remind me of the, uh, the interrogation scene in Dick Tracy? Or Dick Tracy's interrogating mumbles, played by Dustin Hoffman. In the best role in his career. I don't think that's how you break open a door. You're just kind of lightly tapping it.
Any news about Dick Tracy? Any, any news about Dick Tracy in that paper? I, I don't see any news about Dick Tracy in that paper. I don't see any news about Dick Tracy. He's the top G man. See, at least somebody rewound the movie and watched it so she could find out what really happened. Honestly, I like the musical version of this better. Everything's Jack's fault, though. I said all of them too much to be a person. I'm just as much to blame. I am. Mm hmm. Do I understand mm -hmm. you wish to plead guilty to a charge of fostering moral delinquency in the case of William Harper? Oh, I hope not. Because that, that's, that's a move. That's just like a horrible sentence. You're gonna get at least, you know, three thousand years with the comfy pillows. I shall direct the verdict of not guilty. Yep, everything looks spelled right. And the grammar checks out. Now you two are going to sign it, and we're going to have to get this notarized. Um, and then we're going to have to uh, uh, send it to the governor to get that signed. And then uh, that'll have to go over to the Supreme Court of the United States of America, and, and then to the Senate, and, and then, to, then to the desk of the president. And maybe within the next three or four years, we can get him out of prison. This is just going to take a dark turn, so just a warning, folks. Flashbacks, happier times to the beginning of the movie, where she was seducing a teenager, then helping him get framed for murder. Happier times. Oh, that's a nice picture of a city. But an interesting frame. Um, somebody threw their, um, mannequin out the window. You're a judge in the big city. You've seen far more horrible tragedies than this. To order the verdict of the jury in the case of the people versus William Harper to be set aside. But, young man, although this court is convinced that to declare you guilty would have been a gross miscarriage.
miscarriage of justice, we cannot condone your acts. And we can express only the hope that your experiences may not alone keep you, but thousands of others from the vicious pitfall of marijuana. Yeah, this is uh, hitting you over the head with a stick called Evils of Marijuana. Well, this is not the case of the people versus Ra Ralph Wiggum. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to you, son. You fixed our broken marriage. You really can fix anything. Except his mental health. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally accurate, too. Totally accurate. Most accurate movie ever. Mm hmm. Ah, he's back. To me, I was involved. I was Ralph Wiley all along. Wait, I have a child? This was not how I wanted to find out that I had a child. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, you gotta figure out who the mother is. Ah! Yes, yes. That was a movie. Yes. It had a message. Yes. They beat you over the head with that message. A lot. What was the message, you may ask? The message was, keep your kids away from the movie. Be for madness. In fact, I think I should have stayed far, far away from this one. But that was the show. This is normally what I do on uh, Sundays on Twitch. Just on Twitch. But I figured... With the final days of Eastern upon us... I should I should show, show something here. Um, normally this would be um, hosted by my other model. Um, um, pumpkin friend. He's a sweet guy. But, I figured I should show it today. And I'll also be showing the one next week, which will be from the night, from 1920. The silent film version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, starring John Barrymore. It's an oldie. A real old. It's over a hundred years old. Oh wow! I just realized that movie's over. The movie we're next week's over a hundred years old. Over a hundred years of wow. Wow. But yeah, this will be showing next week. Um. I don't know what time next week. Um, next next week's Easter Sunday, so um, I might be doing stuff then. But we'll, 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 that'll be what I'm going to be showing next week. Tomorrow at four on um, V Stream, I'm going to be showing uh, playing some Sims Four again because I just want to. 
So, uh, until then, as I used to say in my past life, uh, take care, good fright, and pleasant screams. See ya on the flip side. Bye.